K-fold cross validation is the type of uh, cross validation in which you split the sample into K equal sizes, K equal subsamples, uh, and the K can number uh, take any number. Of. In a sample, let's say there are n observation, and you have taken K subsamples. So the number of samples or number of data points in each sample would be n by K, n upon K. Each subsample should have the equal number of observation or say for instance k equal to 5 so what you do is that you divide the entire sample uh, into 5 subsamples each having n by 5 uh, n upon 5 and you just take one of the subsample as the validation set and the rest of the four take as the training set like the way we have done here this is a training sam subsample training some sample training some sample but the fourth one is a validation one and then you take the fifth one as a training sample. So we build a model by training samples and use the validation sample to validate it. How do we validate it? The you know, root mean square error, if it is a regression problem, if it is a classification problem, you can actually use accuracy, accuracy rate for one iteration. You have to do it for five iterations. The validation sample can be any one of these five samples. So now we build a model on by including training samples one, two, three, and fourth one, and then you validate on this particular one, the last sample. Okay, and you keep on changing that, right? So there will be five iteration validation uh, sample could be this one, this one, this one, or this one, and this one. And every time you will get an error rate, right? While doing the validation for each of the samples. So if I K validations you will get K errors and you just you know divide that by K you will get the average error which is your prediction error. Normally people take uh, the K to be 5 to 10 because otherwise it takes a lot of computational time to do all these iterations. Here it's 5 subsamples so we have just 5 iterations. If it is more it would lot more time. It doesn't matter how the data gets divided. Remember so that selection bias will not be there. So, you know, um, hold out um, sample uh, valid uh, cross validation. So the validation set that you are taking is completely different from the training set, right? It's completely different. The data points in the validation set will never be present in the training set. Whereas here in this case, the validation set is or the validation sub sample is actually changing. So every sample, every data point would be part of training sample and part of validation sample right because validation set can be this one can be this particular one can be this split as well can be this split and this split similarly a training set can also be you know all the all the splits so every data point present in the sample will be a part of training data and will also be part of the validation data hence this particular way of cross validating is free from sample bias or selection bias.